California in August when the California Legislative Black Caucus refused to help black people by refusing to take the vote for reparations to the floor so that Governor Gavin Newsom could either vote on them or veto them, right? Well, not too long ago in Moreno Valley, California, the California Black Freedom Fund was having an event. And at that event was one of the assembly members, Dr. Corey Jackson, who refused to take the votes to the floor and protesters showed up. Check it out. Money from black people stealing direct cash payments and diverting it to nonprofits that give money to non-black entities. We want reparations. Nah. We want redress. Nah. We want housing. Yeah, we want reparations now. Corey Jackson against reparations. He got to go. Led organizations, but they say they're for reparations. We have a problem, black people, that we need to fix. We need to stop selling each other out. So as you saw there, they were pretty upset. They're pretty upset, and they wanted the people to know what Corey Jackson did. He didn't do anything, even though he led black Californians to who voted for him to believe that he was going to take the vote to the floor. Now remember, there was a study that took place since 2020 where all of these black people and, you know, politicians were sitting there, there at the Capitol trying to figure out, you know, what reparations look like and how much it would be and this, that, and the other. And when they had a chance to take it to the floor, they said, no, we ain't going to do that. They got busted, by the way. But nevertheless... Dr. Corey Jackson was being protested and there's a lot of people in there that didn't like it. You have one sister who I know personally talking about that's a good man in there. How dare you guys? It's like, what makes him good? What makes him good? He didn't do anything good when he had a chance to do that. But nevertheless, I looked into uh, the California Black Freedom Fund. I'm like, okay, well, what is it? And this is what I learned. It says the fund was created by a coalition of donors and philanthropic organizations, including California Endowment and the Liberty Hill Foundation, and was designed to ensure long-term investments in black leadership and policy change. Its goal is to empower black-led groups to advocate for policy reform and social justice at both state and local level. Now, mind you, it is said since 2021, about $100 million is trying to be raised to help this Black leadership do that. Well, it's like, why? Y'all wasting money. They had a chance to do that when they had a chance to take the vote to the floor and they decided not to do it. And when they were busted, they said, oh, well, it's actually going to take a couple of more years. This is a multi-year thing. We need to figure. No, it's not. You were doing the bidding of Big Daddy Gavin and decided to hurt the people who sent you there. So, yeah, they also called the police or the sheriff's department on those protesters there in Moreno Valley. You know who that they is? It was black people who called the police on other black people because they wanted to hold black Corey Jackson accountable for what he did not do for black people. So weaponizing the police like white people do against black people is just straight up crazy. So I will say this. They are all up for re-election in November and they should be voted out. But there's that, you know, fund. They're trying to give money to black leadership to help black people. And when they have an opportunity to do it for free, they didn't do it. So this is on us too, black people. Stop voting for people who play in our faces and lie and pretend like they're going to do something. And then when they're called to the carpet about why they didn't do nothing, they get the police called on you. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.